showing hogs, you need to keep your hog 10 to 15 feet away from the judge. You want to keep the hog between you and the judge. Um, you don't want to touch it. The proper spots to hit it while you're showing would be in the jowl area or behind the shoulder. You want to keep them moving, but yet you don't want them to run back and forth. Don't crowd the judge. Keep an eye on him. Um, he'll make eye contact with you and tell you to pen up into the five pens. The five pens are the top five placings in the class. And then he'll discuss the rest of the hogs and release them. And then he'll let the first five out and talk about them and their faults and their strong points. Uh, we farm 1,500 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat. We have a 1,000 head hog finisher barn. We have roughly 40 limousine Angus cows. We sell the calves, the bull calves, on Wolf Limousine, their annual production sale. They are a highly known limousine breeder. Uh, well, today, this morning, I got up early and I washed my steer and heifer. After that, what you saw was me blowing and combing out the hair of my steer and heifer. Uh, the blowing just dries them off and combing, that way you can uh, kind of change the way they look and uh, make them better appearing to a judge. Uh, actually, I live on a tree farm. Uh, we harvest trees and uh, we also run a hog operation. Right now I'm showing my summer yearling heifer and I also have a market steer that I'll be showing. And I've been working with this heifer all summer, getting her halter broke and taming her down and training her hair and working with her to get her to look good for today. And I have a few other shows during the summer, but this is the main one and this will decide if I get to go to State Fair or not. I live on um, the largest limousine operation in Minnesota. We have 900 cows and then feedlot cattle. We uh, are seed stock producers and we work with our customers and try to produce the best, the best quality genetics for our customers so they can raise high quality cattle for market. I will be a senior this year at Morris Area High School. Um, I do plan on going to SDSU in Brookings, but I'll major in something in egg production, maybe beef production. Then I plan on coming home and farming with my dad. I'm not sure if the farm is big enough to support my dad and me, but if it's not, I will have to find a job somewhere in the related area, close around, and then hopefully take over the farm when he retires. I'm going to be a senior now at Morris, and uh, my goal for after high school is to go to the University of Minnesota in St. Paul and uh, get a major in livestock production, animal science, and uh, from there go and work for an animal science company and uh, also kind of have a small herd of cattle or something because really that's what my passion has been is cattle. I'm going to be a sophomore in Morris High School. For college, I'm pretty sure I want to go to SDSU for their two-year ag program and then come back and work with my dad in the farm. The way uh, farming is done has definitely changed and uh, the size of the farms have changed also. Uh, it went from everybody kind of living on a farm, having a hog and a dairy cow and a couple chickens and that kind of thing. Now it's uh, very large operations being run and uh, they are taking control of and uh, managing large numbers of livestock. The trend is farms need to expand for all of the higher cost inputs. Uh, many people don't like that. It's taken away from the family farm. That's looked down upon in some people's eyes, but it's also, I think it's a good thing. It's many more job opportunities, many more benefits. You're much more efficient in your machinery, in your livestock. Uh, small town life is really good. You know a lot of people and a lot of people know you. And so it's more friendly and out here, I like um, the open spaces and there's not people like everywhere and you can get out in the pasture in the morning or like at night and it'll be peaceful. Nobody will drive by and you can hear the cows bellowing or the birds and it's really peaceful. I like this small town rural life. Um, I kind of like being out in the country, not in a big city. For how small this town is compared to some, there's quite a few big job opportunities around here. Many kids 
uh, don't see uh, a reason to live in a small town anymore. And uh, in our small town, I feel like uh, at school, there's a lot of people that have connections here and they're gonna stay here. Um, it also helps that we have some large companies that are always hiring people and uh, kids that are from the community and know these companies or operations that are being run in our small town. Um, they kind of know the ropes already when they are graduating from college and high school. So they, they could come back here and I see many of them coming back and uh, more thriving as a town. There's a lot of people here every day and at night it gets pretty crowded and it's a big deal for a lot of people. It, like when people refer to stuff, it's like before that, the county fair, or after the county fair, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. I look forward to it. It's a good place to get together with friends again, show your livestock, just hang out. Uh, it's a big, big thing in the community. We're just kind of enjoying everything out here for five days and uh, enjoying some good fair food and, and uh, staying up late.